Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back here at ECMET TV, brought live to you here from the back of the exhibition hall at the Bella Center in Copenhagen, Denmark. My name is Judith Cohen. I am the TV host for ECMET TV. And um, it is with great pleasure that I can tell you that we have a record-breaking number of guests in our studio today. Please let me introduce them to you. I have a, a whole team of guests, as you can see from the purple shirts. They're called Zone of Inhibition. And this is the winning team of the Selective Pressure Quiz Show, one of ECMIT's new formats this year. From the back row, we have on the left side, we have Uma Chandron. Probably said it wrong, sorry. It's all the pressure. I'm, I'm not it's good okay. with selective pressure I myself. Like, I like, I like yeah. the way you said it. <laughs> Next to Uma, we have Anthony Liu. And here on the front row, on the left side, we have Jamil Kanji and Ash Sompar. And um, right next to me, or closest next to me, is Professor Jesus Rodriguez Baño, um, to many may possibly known as the past president of uh, ESCMID, uh, an executive committee, and this year turned quiz master. Welcome all. Thank you very much. Welcome. Um, um, Jesus, how, how did, the, how did this happened? You became quiz master overnight. That's a good it question. I, <laughs> uh, I was proposed by the executive committee, uh, of the program committee of, of ECMIP, who have the brilliant idea to develop this new activity. I think that was an amazing activity. And, and Jacob, our pro program director, have, have the idea and, and, and went for it. When he proposed me for the first time, I said, are you sure that I can do that? He said, I'm, I'm sure you can do that. So he re reinforced me, so I took the challenge. It's very different to, to what I usually do, yeah. but I, I have fun and with these fantastic participants and these fantastic uh, colleagues uh, doing the work. It was really fun and I really enjoyed it. I heard the winning team chatting that, they, uh, that they'd love to see you back again in, in, in your role as quiz master <laughs> next year, so you must have done something very well. Um, for, I, I don't know much about the, the quiz selective pressure and I, I can imagine some of our viewers don't either, so uh, what kind of quiz is it? What should I imagine? Buzzers? Um, so the idea was to, to do an open call for groups like our colleagues to propose to participate in groups of four people. Um, yeah. We were astonished to see how many groups wanted to participate in the first, in the first edition. Uh, we had actually more groups than we could uh, really manage in, in the first time, so that, that was great. So we have two parts. One part in which were very quick questions, uh, diff very difficult questions, some of them uh, uh, more related to infectious diseases or they're less related to infectious diseases and they had to answer in a short period of time and that uh, eliminated a, a number of teams and then the, there was a semi-final and a final wow. in which the four and the two best in, in each of the two had to respond different aspects of a very complicated clinical cases. And what I can say was we are in very good hands for the future, so I'm very happy to know yeah, that oh, wow. any one of us yeah. who have an infectious disease problem will be solved by these guys in the future without yeah. any problem. And they withstood the pressure. Absolutely. <laughs> that was so selectively <laughs> placed on them. Um, Jamil, um, can you give me a little bit insight in your background? Because it's teams of uh, colleagues, but I noticed that you're all from different affiliations and even different places uh, in, the, in the world. How yeah, did you, did you knew each other uh, before you formed a team, I, I, yeah, I imagine. So we're, we've all originally lived at one point in our lives uh, in Alberta, in the province of Alberta, Canada. Uh, some of us grew up there, some of us have worked there, some of us have trained there. Um, but at all one point, we've all been very good um, and still are till today, professional uh, colleagues. And, um, and we're all... At, um, I, physicians in either areas of uh, medical microbiology and or infectious diseases. So Alberta in Canada is a breeding place for talented <laughs> ID and uh, ID doctors and microbiologists. <laughs> um, Ash, can you tell me, was it a tough quiz? You I won, so obviously <laughs> yeah, not that I tough, but... <laughs> Yes, we, we weren't expecting that, or at least I wasn't expecting that. Not because of you guys, but I. Uh, but it was great. We had a lot of fun, and uh, I thought the the cases were difficult, but it was it was really good. And what I I really liked about it is um, uh, we actually didn't get the diagnosis right on either of our two cases, but it sort of felt like our, our Royal College exam is very yeah. similar to this, our licensing exam. Yeah. 
And uh, they always tell us, you know, you don't have to get the diagnosis right as long as you make a good differential. The thinking process. And a good plan. And so that's, yeah. That came true so today. Was, yeah, definitely. Or yesterday, exactly. sorry. Exactly. Yeah. So that was, that was really yeah. great to see. Great. And Anthony, um, um, uh, Jesus just uh, t told us that the uh, topics of the quiz questions were all quite different from different fields. Um, did your team have enough representation on all the different fields? And did you think about that while forming a team that you all needed different expertise to bring yeah. to, the, to the game? In terms of preparations, <laughs> we didn't think about um, having an expert in different fields. However, it ended up being that um, we had a good combination of infectious diseases and microbiologists. In fact, and two of us are dual trained in both um, subspecialties as well. And it ended up being that uh, we were able to complement each other uh, on, the, on the game show in the sense where all of us had their preferences and it, it ended up being well as in terms of collaborations. So although yeah. it wasn't not planned, uh, I think it, it ended up well and we it had some results. perfectly, yeah. yeah. And Uma, the, were there any discussions amongst you uh, during <laughs> any of the answers that one had to overrule the other in I, the answer that you were going to give as a team? I don't think so. I mean, there were a couple where we looked them up afterwards <laughs> because we might have answered them differently. Um, and so we will next year. But, um, but no, I think for the most part, it was actually a group process. And there was no real kind of, there was no arguing or no like, this isn't, no. Cause, because it was all, like, I think we, I think because we were all taking the Royal College approach. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it yeah. actually, because we had decided what our approach was going to be okay. for the cases yeah. and how they would be presented yeah. before the, we even got the yeah. cases. And so it, that actually made it a lot simpler. And could you feel that you were going to win this, uh, this competition whilst giving your final answers? No. No. So it was a surprise. <laughs> it was a surprise, actually. Because when he said when he said who the winners were, I think we were all expecting it to be the other team, and then we all like everybody was clapping and cheering, and the other team looked disappointed, but we were all confused. <laughs> yeah, so it took us a few seconds to realize that it was us. So were you the only team with a team T-shirt? Yes. yes. Really? I, well, it must have helped at some to some extent, right? Hey, and and you you won this gorgeous trophy. <laughs> I really like it. Um, is, is that the prize for winning this quiz? Uh, eternal honor and an ESCMIT trophy? Yeah, winners yeah. of the first, first ever selective ever. pressure first competition. Yeah. And yeah, for our viewers, I heard yeah. the team uh, negotiate with, uh, <laughs> with Jesus about uh, being uh, admitted to next year's quiz uh, without <laughs> uh, having to go through selection procedure, but he wasn't budging yet. So. I have to say that the competition was really, really strong. I mean, yeah. the teams were absolutely astonishing. I mean, yeah. they were fantastic. And as they say, the other teams in the final, which is a team from Portugal, did also a fantastic job. So yeah. they had to be proud because they, the competition was really high level. We were yeah. absolutely surprised yeah. to see the high level of preparation yeah. that our and young people should had. I, should I see uh, the, the cases that, that they had to solve or, or uh, d differentially diagnose? Is it, is it similar to the clinical grand well, we, round, you think? Is yeah, it well, some in, in, a, in a way, the, the, final, the cases, uh, I think you agree, the cases in the semifinal and the final were in that, that type of very complex cases in which you had to think a lot of possibilities and, and, and consider a lot of variables in the patient, where the patient came from, what is her, yeah. you know, their yeah. possible exposure to different bacteria, what is clinical syndrome. Yeah. So it's, it's really quite complex, and I've participated in some of the case clinical grand rounds, and I can tell you that it's quite difficult yeah. to, to be there. So, yeah. and also and probably very educational for all that came and watched the the Absolutely. quiz show, because it was in Hall A. Um, were there a lot of um, well, um, attendees? It was really well attended, wasn't it? Yeah. It yeah. was quite full. Quite full. And and, and well, uh, wow. uh, That's I don't, 2, I don't know if people. I can say that, but, but I think that people were very happy with the with the outcome of the of the show because people told us that it's been quite you know quite lively and, yeah. and, and quite you know entertaining and different to what we do usually in the congress so kind of yeah. refreshing our minds for a while yeah. so i think the experience at least for me was very good and we saw really a, quite a number of pictures afterwards posted yeah. of the entire event throughout the entire event on twitter yeah. so we could see the different people who we all follow um, we're having fun watching and just kind of enjoying the show with us. So. Well, that's excellent. And you guys had fun. 
<laughs> yeah, well, that's, uh, that's wonderful. So it, it, it sounds to me like this is an experience that should be repeated, but we'll have to wait and see what ECMID, uh, ECMID's program uh, committee decides next year. But I think the odds are looking, uh, looking up. Someone has told me that probably we will do it again. Yeah, <laughs> and you love it. <laughs> I do. I want to thank you all, uh, Zone of Inhibition, for coming here into our studio um, um, to tell us a little bit about your great win. Uh, congratulations again. Thank you so thank much, you. Professor Rodriguez Bagno, for coming and uh, moderating this, uh, this fantastic new format in ECMID and explaining a little bit here in the studio. Thank you for your time. And for our viewers, we are leaving you for today, but we will be back tomorrow for our final day of ECMID and our final day of ECMID TV. Um, make sure to tune in again at 9 a.m. Then we will do our first broadcast and with no less than the keynote lecturer, Christine uh, Moisel Eichinger, who um, for, spoke about uh, the archaeome and the somewhat underrepresented uh, topic within ECMID so far. So that's really interesting. Please join me again tomorrow morning at 9. Have a good evening. <laughs>